Welcome to State Scoop TV. I'm Jake Williams. Today we're here with Alaska CIO Jim Steele. Jim, how are you doing today? Good. How are you, Jake? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Well, thank you for being here with us today. I, I want to talk to you about some of your priorities. And so let's just start by, you know, what are, what are your top priorities for the year ahead and, and what challenges do you see with those priorities? So we have, uh, we have two. Uh, I would say two primary challenges. Uh, one is uh, we're implementing metrics on the enterprise IT side. So uh, our group, which serves out uh, primarily the, the enterprise applications and services to the rest of the state, uh, are working hard to implement uh, KPIs or key performance indicators for the various groups within our business. And, uh, you know, we're going to transform some of these into service level agreements that we will pass along to our customers. I think, uh, like many states, the state of Alaska is pursuing an IT consolidation track. And uh, I think the way you ensure uh, to your potential customers that uh, they're getting the services that they need is through through metrics. And so uh, metrics is, is the, the primary driver. And I'd say the second is clearly uh, we're a, um, an internal service fund uh, funded organizations. So in other words, we get our money through uh, allocations from from the various business units or agencies. And so a uh, big part of that is to have some transparency in the process. I think uh, there are a lot of folks that think we've, you know, we've got some big voodoo pot, uh, you know, down there that we mix all this stuff together. And so we want to be very transparent in how that stuff is built um, and make sure that uh, we're taking in as much input as we can as, as part of that process. So metrics and, uh, and uh, transparency in how we divide or uh, define and uh, uh, make use of rates. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, you know, you've, you've now been in the, in the space for, for a little while. You know, what are some of the more exciting things you deal with? What, what really gets you passionate about state IT right now? Well, I, you know, I think uh, uh, good uh, trait for any leader is persistence. Um, you know, I, we have a challenging road ahead in Alaska. We, we are faced with, uh, we have a, a $4.5 billion uh, uh, budget for operating government. We, we have about a billion in revenue. So we've got a three and a half billion dollar deficit that we're trying to overcome and uh, so that's pressure on uh, certainly guys like me to uh, do things as efficient as efficiently as we can and you know and I, that just sort of creates an environment sometimes of, uh, of you know fear and worry and so I think being persistent in how we come in and keep uh, people motivated I think we're doing the right things I think that uh, we will Alaska is not a state, uh, we're certainly not a broke state. We're just a, we're, we're a cash rich state with a cash flow problem. So uh, we've, got, uh, you know, we've got to get that fixed. And I think in the meantime, uh, as an enterprise IT group, uh, you know, I need to make sure that I'm in there every day and we're focused on things that are gonna make a difference. And I think through persistence and, uh, you know, we try to keep it uh, an upbeat place to work. And, uh, so I, I, I probably what keeps me going in there every day is the the hope that uh, uh, well the expectation that things are going to get better and as a team we're going to come out ahead. So yeah, absolutely, and that that determination is is great. What would you what would you say that you know Alaska really does well? I mean, where where do you see Alaska leading as an innovator? Well, you know, Alaska uh, we're doing some great things, and and I personally can't take any credit for this, but. One very common touch point with any state government is the DMV, and uh, there's a lot of focus within the uh, the DMV to become more automated, uh, to keep uh, our our citizens from standing in line, doing things online. Um, I think when I think of innovation for the state, it's not so much that it's going to be something completely new. It's going to be uh, you know we're going to be doing things that many have done before us. Uh, but, uh, you know, with anything, change in itself can be innovative and in how we learn from what others have done. And uh, it's going to take our own approach, our own uh, sort of way of doing things in Alaska that uh, uh, is going to require a little bit of innovation, right? Thinking about change and, um, you know, how we're going to 
uh, consolidate some very core commodity-based services uh, in IT. And it doesn't matter who you talk to, uh, even those that have done it before you, that, that recipe, uh, the key ingredients are the same, but how you sort of make things come together is going to be a little different in Alaska. So uh, we're going to have to overcome that, and that's going to require an aptitude for change and, and a little bit of innovation to go along with it. Yeah. And, and kind of last question for you. I mean, what, what's keeping you up at night? What are those big challenges that, that you really stress about and worry about? Uh, security. I think that, you know, if you talk to any of those 49 guys out there, they're going to tell you the same thing. I mean, we, security is the one thing that keeps us up and, and the ability to recover from some sort of disastrous event. I think uh, Alaska, for the most part, we have planned for the uh, physical catastrophe, the earthquakes, the uh, you know, the, the things that will bring an entire city down, a, a, a municipal power outage, but it's the malicious, uh, you know, cybersecurity type uh, incident or breach that is concerning and our ability to recover from something uh, catastrophic like a ransomware or, uh, you know, some sort of other, uh, you know, malicious type activity that really keeps us all awake. And are, do we have the right tools? Are we... Uh, many of our systems and legacy systems were not designed with that type of activity in mind. So we need to make sure that our, our perimeter is strong and that we're protecting our assets to the extent that we can and then having the ability uh, to recover if something does get in. Those are the things that concern me the most. Absolutely. So, well, thanks so much for your input, Jim. I appreciate it. You're welcome, Jake. Uh, Good to so see you. For all the latest news and events going on in Alaska and across the state IT community, check out statesgroup.com. And again, thanks again to, uh, to Jim Steele, the state CIO for the great state of Alaska, for joining us today. Uh, I'm Jake Williams. Thanks for watching.